What's up guys, you already know who it is, it's your boy Sky, and we're back at it again with another lit video, because every video we do is lit. And today's video we have day two of CWL, but before we get into that, make sure you hit that like button, you subscribe to the channel, and you hit that notification bell to be part of that notification game. Shout out to all my subscribers, we are about to hit 5,000 subscribers, and that means we can hit up super sales and see if we can become content creators so let's get that five thousand and that's our short term goal our midterm goal would be to hit thirty thousand subscribers so right after we hit five thousand we're going to be pushing for that thirty thousand so let's get it uh and so as you can see this is day three we're all into day three we are winning so far day three so day two now this war was a crazy war. At first, I'll to be honest, if you want me to be one thigh while with you, I was sitting here like, yo, we might end up losing this war. Because you know we had a, a, a few attacks that one starred. And I was like, yo, I don't know. But you know, we'll see later on. I went to bed, I woke up and I saw us. We was up and they had a couple of three uh one stars that actually did, you know, they hit Jeff, one star Jeff. They went over to uh dubs, one star dubs, and you know, and so on. They they got a few one stars themselves. We got a couple of one stars as you can see on their side that we hit. I think we had like maybe what three? Yeah, like three. We had oh we had two. Okay, so we had two. I think they had like three, maybe four. They even know stars, so we'll even take a look into that one. How uh how he defended on that one. But uh let's jump right into this guys. Make sure you smash that like button, make sure you subscribe if you're new to the channel, and don't forget. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can see our up and coming videos and stuff that we will be dropping or when we go on live and things like that. So thank you all for being a subscriber so far. So let's jump right into this. So we're gonna we're gonna actually jump on. Let, let's 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 jump to see what we we we've done on our side. So we came in with this attack by Jeff. Yes, sir. My boy Jeff went in and smashed this base. So let's see what he came with. He came with a Yeti smash. And we're going to see how he did off this. So he put down an arch. Like, what, two to three arches at, uh, at about six o'clock? And he's dropping that uh, queen over there. I'm going ahead with the queen walk. Drops a Coco Loon to uh, see if there's any seeking air mines. So there's none that are there so far, but we're gonna see how he gets into there. He drops a rage spell, uh, the rage up that queen has to pop the queen ability right there. Unfortunately, it goes in, taking out the uh, the defenses and those buildings to create that funnel. King dropped up top to create the funnel right there as well, dropping the yetis. And the king getting down that archer tower. Queen is targeted by a single inferno. He's gonna have to drop a hit freeze because the queen already used her ability. Uh, super wall breaked in. Nice super wall break. <clears throat> and now the blimp is out. Gonna have to pop that warden's ability for this blimp. There it is. Jump spells right there too. So uh, I believe the troops and the king could jump into there. Freezes the Inferno Tower with the uh, with the scatter shot. Rages it up as well. Ray Champion up top going strong. Dropping the rest of the loons and a baby dragon for funnel. Uh, I mean for funnel for cleanup. Two wizards down at top as well. Yetis are going in taking out this single Inferno and the Expo. Warden still full health with the heals behind it. Royal Champion still going strong. Royal Champion caught up with the Skellies. Royal Champion is going to pop the pop her ability soon because, I mean, there's a bunch of Skellies that are still up. And, yep, no more defenses. Pretty much an Archer Tower, which is not going to take down all this. And 
Hey, air defense with the air defense already went down, and that's a three star from Jeff. What is yo? Nice attack, Jeff. Good attack, good attack, good attack. Beautiful three star. <clears throat> Let's get into this next attack from Jeff. I mean, from Jeff, huh? We already seen the attack from Jeff. My bad. So, read this next attack. We got right here. Let's go see what we're coming in with right now. And we have Lalo. One of my, my pretty much my favorite attack strategy is Lalo. Ain't no other attack strategy better than Lalo to me. I do like drags. Drags are my second favorite. But I love me some Lalo. That's my shit right there. Uh, so he's queen walking right there. At the top portion. Queen is creating the funnel. Luckily there is a Motai Inferno. Dropping the uh, dropping the Siege Barrack. I mean the Siege Barrack. The Wall Record. The King. The Warden. And the Royal Champion. Queen pulls the CC, pops her ability, taking out these witches, pops the warden ability, taking out those two infernos up top, and here comes the Lalo. Drops loons and two lavas. Drops the hay spells coming in on that scatter shot. Scatter shot goes down, freezes the eagle, the AD, and the expo with the Tesla. Freezes up the Teslas with the Wizard Tower. And this, yeah, this is this is destroyed. That was incredible. I haven't really seen that one right there. Some some wardens with a wall record? Okay. I mean some wardens with a wall. Some Yetis with a wall record? Dang, okay, okay, I see you. Okay, tunes coming in here. Beautiful Lalo, though. I like that. Lalo is probably the hardest strat in the game. And when you can execute a Lalo perfectly like this. I, I I know you're a good you're a good attacker when you can execute a Lalo. Lalo is pretty hard. He only used two headies as well. Wow. Okay. Beautiful attack. Beautiful attack. So we're gonna be going into this next three star on the board. We got Eric coming in here with a Yeti Pekka smash. Okay. Uh, with the bowlers. So he has two. He has two Pekkas, seven Yetis, and 14 bowlers. Has the Siege Barrack up there with two Pekkas. Creating that funnel. King on King. Um, Royal Champion. And a P.E.K.K.A. coming in at 6 o'clock. Create that funnel. Super wall break in right there. Eagle has been activated. Down comes the Queen and the Warden. Drops a poison spell for the CC. Earthquakes. So he can open up that whole compartment. Pops the Warden ability for the Town Hall. And it's looking very beautiful right now. Drops a jump spell to get to that scatter shot and that back compartment. But I mean, the the uh, earthquakes already opened up the wall down there, so there's no need for the jump spell. But so yeah, there, there's pretty much no need for the jump spell because you know, bowlers, yeti mites can reach the the scatter shot, and the queen can reach the scatter shot. And yeah, this this base got wrecked. That was very well executed. Amazing attack by Eric. We're gonna speed this up a little bit. 
got a, arch, a few archers down at the bottom for a uh, cleanup. Queen still going strong down there. Has a whole clean ability and all the heavy defense is already down. Pops the queen ability, swags it. Yeah, that, that was a good attack. Beautiful attack, Eric. So we're going to go to... Oh, we got our next. Is that the last three star? No, no, no. That's second to the last three star. All right. Let's see what we got here. We got a... Oh, okay. Two, two Yetis. A Pekka, a Ice Golem, and 14 Bowlers. Let's see how this one goes. So he drops the Queen down to create the funnel with a E-Drag. So the Queen does not walk that way. Look at that chain value that that, that, that E-Drag just got. Crazy. Queen, Queen doesn't even need to to pop any ability, doesn't need a poison, doesn't need anything because that king is very underleveled. I don't know. Uh, this is what I talk about, about putting, you know, rush bases like this in there. Queen's gonna take out that, C that town hall. He drops the poison for the CC troops. CC troops are going down right now. All the CC troops are down and now the queen will be walking around. Drops the Siege Barrack up top at 12 o'clock. Drops another P.E.K.K.A. Drops Giants. Drops a Jump Spell. Drops the Ice Golem and the Bowlers right behind. Two Yetis. King. And all we need is that Warden and the Red Champion to come down soon. But I'm pretty sure he's going to drop that Red Champion right behind. I believe with the Hogs? He would have to have Hogs in that Siege Barrack. Nope, he has two more Yetis and a Vout. So Vout's going in strong with the Royal Champion. Yetis are very slow right behind it. I mean, I mean, he should have just, just came in with some hogs. Pops the uh, Warden's ability. Pops the Royal Champion's ability. Single Inferno goes down. Yeah, that's a three star. Very nice attack. Ray Champion goes down. All there is is a uh, a Tesla and a Wizard Tower, and the Warden could pretty much take that out by himself. But the Warden is shooting on the wall. Yeah, that's a three star. Okay, so the last attack that we have that the three star is coming from Blood Eagle. Let's see what he got. Yeti, bow smash. Let's get it. We got we got baby drag up top with some super gobs taking out those collectors. Warding down the funnel. Coco Loon out. But looks like the queen is going to take that out. The warden took out the queen like it was nothing. Under with the, with the rage on him. And here comes the Yeti. Jump spell already deployed. Rage is down. Oh yeah, they're, they're going straight to the middle. Another jump spell down. Got to pop that uh, Warden's ability pretty soon. Rage down again. Out comes the Hogs. And pops the uh, Warden's ability. Out comes the CC, pops the, uh, drops the poison. C 
CC troops will be going down here. Hogs are just running through everything up there. Yeah, CC troops are now down. And that's another three star. Very well executed. Oh man, he had all three heroes up. That would have been crazy if you would have had the uh, Ray Champion next to too. So, we're going to take probably a couple of looks at the attacks that were against us and which one's three starred. And it looks like they only have one three star, but we're going to actually look, take a look at this defense as well after we take a look after this three star. So, let's check this out. And he, and he came with a big three star too. This this base is pretty much max. Look at this. So quakes the middle to open up the compartment. Starts the queen up top. Has an E-drag on the other side to create the funnel. Rages up the queen to get through this king. And now the Yetis, the Bowlers, the um, Siege Barrack, and he dropped Wall Breakers to open up their compartment, which was great. Perfect timing to get them in there. Pops the Warden's ability. Which makes them invincible to all of that. A Red Champion's gonna have to pop her ability pretty soon. Pops her right there. Drops a jump spell to get his troops into that compartment. Bowlers and a couple of troops took out the other um, Inferno Tower. Oh yeah, this was this was very well executed right here. Very, very, very well executed. Queen still with full health from those uh, healers. Topping her off the whole way. Queen could get through the rest of that right there. Oh, the Archer Tower might take her down. Nope, she's still up. Yep, like I said, Queen can get through that all right there. Yeah, Queen's gonna take that out. Yep, Warden take it out too as well. Beautiful three star. Yeti would take out that uh, build a hut. Very well executed. So we are gonna see what went on with this attack. I don't know if shoot was max. I don't know. If this is the first time I'm seeing it. Oh, okay. Explains a lot. Very low heroes. The only hero that is close to even being max is the uh red champion so it drops a uh a coco loon just to see if there was any seeking air mines drops the e-drag to create the funnel right there another e-drag to create the funnel over there i think he's i think he's trying to go for a for a two star to be exact drops the loon drops the uh the blimp oh yeah that them loons caught a tornado trap yeah he was trying he was trying to get the town hall by dropping the blimp there so, so basically what he tried to do is drop the ejax around to collect 50 percent and then or or to get quite a bit a percent probably trying to hope for it like maybe what 30 to 40 percent and he tried to drop the blimp to uh get the town hall but there was a tornado trap right there so when the loons came out all they did was circle around and get caught by the town hall he could have froze he could have froze the town hall you know 
caught the Royal Champion in the Town Hall with it, froze it, and you know, he, he might have would have got it. Uh, I mean, the loons probably would have survived, but I mean, that was all bad. And he, it doesn't even look like he even dropped the rest of anything else. He DC'd. Oh, bummer. Yeah, looks like he DC'd. Well, rip to that attack. Um, yeah, so basically we're going to see what happened with some of these defense attacks as well. I'm going to see how some of these defenses held up. So he came in with a Yeti Pekka bow smash. And Queen and Warden are walking right there. So now we're seeing the healers transfer to the queen to try to keep her alive. Wall Wrecker is going in. Here comes the Yetis. But the funnel wasn't created properly. So these Yetis might just walk outside. So Queen is walking outside. Everything's just walking outside. Yetis are finally going in, but the bowlers, well, two, two Yetis walked in and the bowlers and everything else is walking outside. So, yeah, Queen's, Queen's going to take out the Yetis and the Yeti mites and all that up there. Yep, Scattershot took that out. Oh, yeah. He didn't funnel properly and every, everything just walked. So yeah, he, he got the 50%, but he did not get the town hall because he did not funnel right. So, sucks for this guy, good for us, but sucks for him. <laughs> good defense by the way, Doug. Um, and I believe that's all we're gonna show for today. Uh, congratulations on the wins, guys. Very nice attacks. Um, day three, I will be recording, or I might be streaming that tomorrow. I did triple, so we're going to check that out, of course, because I did triple. Um, but, uh, yeah, so thank you guys so much for stopping by the channel. Thank you guys so guys, so thank you guys so much. What the hell, does? I, I'm just having a problem today. I cannot talk. Sorry, guys. I cannot talk today. But uh, thank you guys so much for stopping by the channel and uh, checking out this video with us. We really appreciate that, guys. Make sure you hit that like button. Smash the like button, actually. You know, just everybody go ahead and hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you're new people to the channel, make sure you subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Hit that notification bell because, you know, we do do giveaways. And we do do a lot of other things as well. We do play other games, MMOs, RPGs, a couple other games, Minecraft, all that other good stuff. So if you guys do like Minecraft or you do, you guys do like other games and you want us to try it out and play it, go ahead and put that in the comment section. We'll check it out. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Stay Rona free. I'm out. Deuces.